Hey there guys, right, it's a difficult one this is to, um, to sort of get you to hear it because, well I, I'm, I, I'm going to try plugging it back onto this uh, speaker but it's not going to, um, you know, you're not going to get the best sound out of it because it's not really made for that, but what I wanted to say was there's no hiss, there's no hum, there's no noise. Okay, I mean, if you really listen hard when you've got that volume up and then nothing going on on the input, yeah, you can hear a little bit of something, but it's clean. But, uh, I've got all sorts of components, <laughs> you know, I've just been trying different stuff to get rid of the noise, and what it turned out to be was when I shifted this sucker directly to here and the resistor you know so that they're in parallel this resistor and this capacitor but directly into the ground there that helped with a lot um yeah there is an advantage there is a this is okay being in i've gone ahead and did the opposite i i i've the option there as you can see that 50k pot or there's a 4.7k now this is what this numpty did i put in a 4.7 ohm and the 50k pot <sighs> you know so again it's one of my mistakes but that didn't get rid of all of the noise even when I took that out that didn't get rid of it what got rid of it was putting this in here um, I only had one strand of wire left on the end of here I, I don't know why the rest of it's stuck in the board I don't know if you can see that no, you can't really see it because this camera is a bit. It's not a bit rubbish. It is just rubbish. Um, but that's it. It's clean. It's clean. I'm and I'm happy enough to um, go ahead doing the other the other side now. Also, a nice thing about this is if you know it's on the other video, that when I unplug, let's just leave it unplugged for a minute or two. When I was, uh, I, I put this big, big chunky old cap there. It doesn't really need to have that. It's, um, with that 470, it was okay. I was just experimenting around. You know, I, I've been I've been playing around with lots of different bits and pieces, just trying to clean this noise up. I've killed a few, um, a few 360s, 630s. Oh, what are they? I don't know what they are anymore. why did I have to pick the one with the smallest writing on it from a different company and I know that a couple of these uh, LM317s I've killed as well IRF630 that big pile I bought 30 of them I think for about like, like three pounds so I had to pay about pound fifty for delivery and uh, they've come in handy I know they're not the ones that it says to use up here um, there's the list and I've got 510 610, 611, 612 but yeah the three the, the 630 works um, right so look what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug it back in if you remember it was like going up to like 2 amps which was I, you know, I don't know I don't know because I, I haven't done this before with tubes and so you know is that normal <laughs> so but now look at that look 400 milliamp and down to 2 so not only does it not jump up it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, you know, it, it was settling on like about four before and I got absolutely no sound. <laughs> that's a bit, uh, bit worrying, but that's good because it's not actually switched on to play anything and there's no sound, which means um, I haven't got any hums, buzzes, crackles, no motorboarding and uh, motorboating, sorry. Uh, and of course that hiss there is if you listen hard you can hear something a little tiny bit of hiss but nothing uh, lovely uh, I know you probably can't really hear that I don't even know where the microphone is on this thing but it, it's fine I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm going to disconnect these wires here which are going to the mic and I'm just going to connect it onto here so you can hear it yourself 
it's not going to play with the same sort of clarity as going through the headphones because it's going to try and drive that big old speaker up there. Um, oh, I could put it on the little speaker, couldn't I? That's the better way to do it, sorry. Ooh. Here we go again, you see, my, my head isn't very good at all. I can understand that, well, my teacher's got so frustrated with me. I can understand. Just bear with me while I just get this camera so we don't just go off on one. There we go. Um, but that's uh, that's nice and clear, so I'm just going to disconnect that. I'm going to get my, uh, my trusty microphone speaker, which this turns out it works quite well for. Um, this came out of a TV, a really, well it wasn't really old, it was a Sony TV, so not terribly bad. Oh no, that's a lie actually, because I, I found the, um, the carcass for it, Bel Belco. It was made in the US. Uh, well, no, I can't even say that, can I? But it had the zigzags for resistors, which means it wasn't a European designated thing. So. Yeah, not really driving that very well at all. I am probably better off trying to plug it into this over here. So let's just see if it will like, plug into that one over there. Cause like I said, this is a, this is a, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to call it. I've actually got another TV speaker, maybe I could try one of these, I've not actually tried one of these, um, to see if they actually work or not, so, um, go along with the colour coding, which I believe is correct. I'll plug that into there, and I'll just plug that straight onto there like that. We'll give it a go. And it's nice to see that it doesn't. We're not going to get. It's just. It's distorting, but. Which isn't very good. So it's, it's not a. Uh, not a very good. And uh, um, what I've done as well is I've put a 4.7k in instead of that pot because, like I said, the option was there. And I've played around with lots of other resistors. And I got all the way up to 22k trying to. Are we going to get any sound out of that? Nah. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be now. What do you reckon that is? Because before we were getting quite a bit of punch out of it. Um, oh, I know why that would be. Because I'm a numpty and I'm doing it again. I'm plugging it into the headphone and expecting it to come out of the speaker. So if I uh, put the host like that and plug this back in again. That's a nice. But the nice thing is, uh, even though it's not going to go up very loud, which I don't suppose anyone's going to expect it to, because this is just a. But this is the bit that's interesting. That's with it switched on, of course, but no audio coming up. No noise. No hiss. No, uh. You know, so that's it. That that's that's sorted. That's sorted. Um, I don't know if anybody can. You know, if I'm supposed to be able to get like lots of watts out of this, maybe if I put the other the, the other capacitor back there because that's all I've changed. Um, and I've played around with different resistors down here rather than that pot. And I know that if I do adjust the pot, I can get it to have a bit more oomph. Um, and I, it's a pity you can't hear through the headphones because I was doing it with the headphones. I can put a, um, I don't know, in actual fact, I don't know if that's the, is this the 6.8k here? Because if it is, I think it might be actually, yeah, 6.8. Uh, like I said, I went up to the uh, 22k and then I could hear mm, I assume that's from the power supply or something but I was trying to get it so it was like half the voltage but of course the more I bring down the voltage here that's going to the plate in here And well from what I understand you need some positive charge across there to <laughs> up the electrons <laughs> and the less I've got there the less it can do it so 
but to get rid of all that noise that's what I had to do that's what I did there it seemed to make a massive difference once I did that it isn't amongst you know playing around with other stuff trying different capacitors here um, you know, I was putting capacitors on the on the power and um, I even stuck halfway down where I got my power wires coming in um, halfway down I, I plugged in a, a <laughs> another capacitor a big capacitor thinking maybe that's got something to do with it but uh, I'm gonna carry on I'm gonna do a little bit more experiments with this because what I if I can oh I don't know I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing with it to be honest with you I'm just quite, quite happy now that there isn't all that horrible noise that circuit there is a good circuit to work off um, I, I would I, I think I am going to do the other channel but I wouldn't mind trying another circuit as well something that would give me or maybe I should I don't know I think I'll maybe try it so I could get um, it to go into another amplifier to use this as like a preamp into another amplifier and see how that goes but I want to do both sides I want to do I want to do both sides it just seems I don't really have I, I like to build circuits I can actually use like this amplifier here I can use that it's nice um, I got a nice chill out uh, CD today and when I finish doing this and I'm going to go and make myself some food I'm going to put my laptop here I'm going to put the chill out CD into my uh, auxiliary CD player into the laptop, into the amplifier and I'm going to put some nice vibes around the, uh, around this apartment here while I go and do that but to have something for a preamp for a pair of headphones to sit and listen you know, a little music player plug my headphones into and go for a run yeah, or go for a cycle on my bike but not to sit and listen to but to have a little preamp for an amp and maybe get into getting some more vowels or something I'm not sure I'm just gibbering away I'm really really happy I'm really really happy that now this thing is um, it's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing it's making a nice clear sound coming through it and I haven't got any uh, undesirable noises or that motor boarding thing has gone that's great it was at the stage where if I went close to it it would stop and if I moved away it would start just very very faintly but that's the sort of thing that annoys me if I can hear it just very very faintly you know when there's no input going in but the power's on that's just annoying it's annoying it annoys me it makes me want to try and figure it out but there's nothing now just a very sort of like in the background you can just you can just barely hear it I, I, I would expect to get that sort of thing off this but this is quiet anyway it's no real noise at all anyway just uh, just that was the update on that and I'm really really chuffed that it works great that circuit is absolutely brilliant so if there's anybody else out there thinking yeah, they might want to give that a bash like I say I've used the uh, 12AX7 here not the uh, 12AU7 but um, I I'm not sure if I'll actually buy any more tubes to plug in it was just a case of I wanted to get a tube I wanted to get one that I could work on low voltage so I could try it um, and I'm, I'm chuffed I've actually got it working so yeah ah, brilliant anyway cheers for watching guys if you watched and uh, I'll come up with something else and see if I can put something else together and hopefully not make too many mistakes while I'm doing it Oi. Oh, let me just have a little temperature check on these. Yeah, they're not as hot. So, it's not sizzling like before. They're not as hot. That's another good thing. And of course, it's only running at 200 milliamps, it says over there. And when you first put it in, it doesn't do that up to 2 amps. And then bring itself down. And as it gets, you know, sort of like a. Uh, as it gets like 0.8 of an amp, that's when this was starting to come in. It was clear until then, but now it's just down there and there's no at all. Yay! Anyway, I said it was game, so I'm going. Bye! Thanks for watching.